Hi everybody, Joe here. Today we're gonna go over auto blogging. Auto blogging is an AI tool uh, for AI writing and produces uh, quick, good quality content for your blogs and websites. So we'll take a look here. You have quick mode, which is the main feature of auto blogging, uh, where you would enter your article title, blog topic, keyword in this area. It has multiple languages. You can do it in English, Spanish, French, Italian. There's also 2.0 mode, uh, which will organize the H2, H3 headings for you automatically. So 2.0 mode is, is great and probably what most users will be using. But if you do want to organize uh, some keywords along with the topic, you would probably want to just keep it in the regular mode. Now we go over to pro mode, which will help you organize your blog articles more efficiently. This is a good way if you're looking at other articles out there in your niche or even using an optimizing tool like Surfer SEO or Neuron Writer to enter in the long tail keyword or topic that you're going to write about, then you would take that information and make sure you have those proper uh, subheadings, those uh, H2s and keywords that you would like for each subheading. Uh, you need a minimum of three subheadings and it'll give you a maximum of 10. And also this, you can have the writer write in English, Spanish, French, and Italian. Then you have the Amazon reviews feature, which is great. You could just put a product URL in there uh, from Amazon and you could just generate article and then you see it comes up with an Amazon review. Then you have the free tools, which is great. You can just enter in keywords. It'll give you a title that you could use for your article, description generator, headings, outline generator, and this is all great. It's free. So even if you don't use auto blocking, you come in here and use this very helpful. And then you have your history section, your credits available plan. If you have want to buy more codes and then your history of every article that you've had a auto blogging create for you, you can download at any time. Now for the plans, there's $19 a month, gives you 20 articles, 49, 60 articles, $99 a month, 150 articles, and the 249 premium plan will give you the unlimited access to all features. Uh, there's a fair usage policy, 750 articles. And then if you just want the free, you can sign up for the free and then get the free tools free. But there is a dollar trial here, so that's cool. So now let's go over here. You want to enter a blog topic. We could go to the free tools and let's just say we want to write about web design and SEO. Generate a title. How important is web design for SEO? Okay, we can use that. Copy, paste, go over here. Let's just go into the 2.0 mode in English. Just enter in there. Generate article. These fun GIFs pop up. Here you go. It gives you pretty solid content. Roll a web sign SEO, and you'll see that the 2.0 mode will set up the headings for you, which really helps a lot. So you could just copy and paste all of this, or you can download the article, or it'll always be in your history sections. You could always download it there. Now, if you want to add keywords. I usually don't use 2.0 mode for that. I think it works better in the uh, original mode. So you don't need to click that. We could do the same thing, but then you want to add some keywords to guide it some more. So let's see how important is website for FCO. So you want to make sure that we have web designer as a keyword in there. Oh, I'm sorry. First, first we've got to write keywords like this and then your keywords web designer. Let's even put New York, uh, SEO, digital marketing, web agency, however, however you want it, whichever keywords you'd like to use. And then you do generate article. It gives you a nice intro here. If you're a web designer, you know that great design is essential, attracting visitors, keeping them engaged. But what you may not know is it's crucial for SEO. Here's why. Okay. You could get rid of these numbers if you want. When you copy and paste, you can edit. You can run it through an optimizing tool to juice it up even more. Ethics, web design, XSEO, role of web design, how to prove web design. It gives you some nice content. Say you want to, you want to write something more 
uh, for service page or to focus on an area, you could do how to run a, or actually we'll do ways to run a so web agency, web agency, and now we'll put New York. That helps guide it some more. And then for the keywords, make sure New York is in there. Web design and let's say let's do marketing. All right, we'll just do that in the regular mode, not 2.0. And for these article titles, you can experiment and play around with what works. You could even just type in web agency and see what happens. Um, but it's better to guide the AI uh, as much as possible. And if an article's return and the quality is way off, uh, I believe you can contact support and they would give you a credit uh, back or fix it for you. The founder has been very cool on support, helping users with their content and uh, improving their content. So, and any questions you have, you can reach out to him as well, him and his team. So, ways for success. Agency in New York is known for its fast paced environment and it gives you this, importance of a good website. It gives you how to market your website and business in New York. So again, a lot of content very quickly. You don't want to use the keywords. You don't have to after. I, I enjoy it. I think it helps a little bit more. Again, if you start out with Neuron Writer, Surfer, uh, Pop, Quora, any of these uh, optimizing tools, you can put the topic in there and it'll return the keywords. Uh, it'll guide you on what keywords if you want to rank for in that article. And then you can put those keywords into auto blogging. But say you want to write about your agency, then you could say um, web development at, and then you can actually type in say your own web agency, and then it will it knows that speaking about the agency must be the doing the web development. So that's the name of the agency, and then the keywords you would web design agency New York, focus on New York, New York City, and make sure you put the name of agency in there. And you see web development Max Burst. Hi, we're Max Burst, a web design and development agency in New York City. See how it pulled the keyword for New York City in New York and the name of the company. That's pretty neat, right? And then an introduction to web development Max Burst. So you kind of use this more for a service page, uh, even as a blog, but kind of puts the pieces together as long as you add the title of the agency in the article title field. The process of web development Max Burst. Gives you some FAQs and then the conclusion, and then it gives you the call to action. So you can add that on the bottom there. Again, you can go back and forth. You can use with the keywords, I would leave it uh, unchecked for the quick mode. But if you just want a quick article, benefits of SEO on a website, and then you can just do it this way. This is the quickest way. A lot of people will just use the 2.0 mode and just enter in their title and just let it and go. SEO basics, what is SEO? On page, off page, benefits of SEO, how SEO can help your website. Very good content. If you're gonna use this on your money site, you're gonna to want to edit it a bit, tweak it, optimize it, uh, run it through Copyscape, plagiarism checks after. I've had no problems with any plagiarism so far with autoblogging. Amazon reviews, uh, the free tools is really nice. If you basic idea, you can use it for your meta description generator, uh, headings, outline generator. So if you have a title, like how important is web design for SEO, this will produce the outline for you. There you go. And then you could actually even take this into the pro mode for each section, or you find something in here that you really like, the relationship between web design and SEO, the impact of, you know, you can, you can grab one of these, copy and paste it over. So definitely check out autoblogging. It's a really nice tool, easy to use, and uses pretty solid content. If you have any questions about autoblogging, they have a Facebook group you can join. Ask some questions there, ask questions in the comments of this video, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.